Hello, my name is Jamie Ward. This is a short film on a demonstration on marking out a mortise to be cut on a mortising machine. A mortise is a square hole, and we tend to cut a mortise in the styles of a frame. So here's a frame. The styles are components that go up and down. Rails are the components that go across. For this marking out, you'll need a square, a mortise gauge, ruler, pencil. I tend to use a clutch pencil. This is a 0.5 millimeter clutch pencil. The reason I tend to use a clutch pencil is because the line is constant as opposed to a regular pencil where the line can be irregular. A mortise chisel, an auger bit. The one to select the general rule of thumb for a mortise is a third of the thickness of the component. So in this case, this is 24 mil thick, so therefore I've ch chosen an 8 mil mortise chisel. Marking out. Bring the components, the styles, together as a pair. A pair is when you have the two face sides and you bring them together like so. So a left hand and a right hand. In this case, I'm marking out 30 millimetres in from the end. The reason I'm doing that is when I'm making the frame, we're going to make the frame with horns on. These horns will be cut off once the frame is glued up. The horns are there to enable us to knock the components apart, but also if we're making a, long, a large door of some sort, it enables us to move it around the workshop and not damage the end of the side of the rail. So, 30 mil in from the end. I'm going for the whole width of the rail, so in this case that means it's 44 millimetres wide. and then I'm doing a through mortise which means the tenon is going to go all the way through so therefore I'm going to mark out the other side when I'm marking out I don't tend to mark across the face I don't have a mark going across this face because then I have to remove it and then repeat on the other style. So as I say, I'm not marking across there. I'm just putting a, a small mark here. So what I've done there is I've marked out the start and finish of the mortise on both sides. And then the last thing to do before setting the machine up with the mortise gauge, I've set it to the two points on the mortise chisel. Face side against the stock, I place the mortise gauge and making sure that the, the gauge lines are in the centre of the thickness of the style. I tend to then place a, two full stops in so that the end line and then gauge the lines up to those full stops. The reason for that, if I put those in, it stops me from continuing past the line. And then I repeat on the other mortises. Notice when I turn over end to end you want to make sure the face sides against the stock. 
to always turn over end to end. Engage the line in a couple of passes. Don't try to do this in one go. If you wanted to, you can hold this in a vise. And then repeat on the other style. What some people find useful is if they put the pencil into the gauge line, it just highlights where that gauge line is. Another trick some people put M for mortise, or they hatch the line as well. So if you've got lots of components, it makes it obvious what are you taking out where the waste is? <laughs> 